Hello everyone and welcome back to another video here today from my phone figures. WrestleMania was last night and in this video today, this is my WrestleMania review. Uh, I'm a bit late. Sorry that I'm a bit late with this review. Um, yeah, but you know what? We're going to go through the show from the first match to the last match. And uh, yeah, let's, you know what? Let's get into it. Honestly, you know what? I'm just going to go through my thoughts during the video. I'm not really going to give my... I'll get my score at the end of the video. I thought it was a good show. The main event saved the show, in my opinion. Other than the main event, there wasn't anything that I was like, that was amazing about. You know, there was nothing amazing other than the main event. So, you know what? We'll start off with the first match. The opener, Rhea Ripley, had a cool entrance with uh, Motionless in white. They performed her theme song. That was pretty cool. And then Becky Lynch had an entrance with, like, her buck. She was promoting a book. That was pretty cool. So they had Becky Lynch from Ireland. I'm from. I'm Irish. You know, I love Becky Lynch, man. She's good. She's she's good. Uh, Irish wrestler. I love Becky Lynch. I love Sheamus. I love all my Irish. I love all my Irish wrestlers. So yeah. Uh, so it's Becky versus Rhea. And I'm half Australian as well. So got some Australian in me. I got some Irish in me. This is definitely an uh, amazing match for me. Personally, I think the match didn't really deliver. I thought it was a good match. I don't think it was a bad match. In my opinion, I thought it was good. The build for this match, I never thought was good. In my opinion, I thought the build was just kind of okay. Very mid. Very, uh, mid. It was just kind of like, it, I wasn't really feeling the build for this match. Rio versus uh, Charlotte last year, I felt like it was the exact same. The build was, was bad. And then the match was good. So, uh, yeah, that's, it was kind of like that, but it was nowhere near the level of Charlotte versus Rhea last year. And, uh, you know, okay match. Good match, good match. Rhea ends up retaining, like, you know, exactly what I thought was going to happen. I knew Rhea was going to win. Moving on, the next match we had was the ladder match. And the winners of this match were Grayson Waller. Let's go to Australian Toll in the title house stick. I love Grayson Waller. In Austin Theory, mate. Grayson Waller and Austin Theory. They end up retaining. They end up getting the tag team championships very early in this match. They got the tag team championships like extremely early in this match. This match was an absolute banger. Uh, there was an insane spot. Actually, you know what? I'm going to set it up. I set it up in about two seconds. There was an insane, crazy spot from Johnny Gargano. And uh, I think it was Pete Dunn through a table. Johnny Gargano did a DDT to Pete Dunn through a table. That was insane. Grayson Waller, man. I feel so sorry for him, mate. He got a... Uh, Sout knocked out to heaven, razored edge through the ladder, like over here through the ladder. It was insane by Damian Priest. That was that was sick, man. I I just had so much fun watching this match with my family. It was so much fun watching this match. I love this match. Very very good match. You know what? The, other than the main event, this was definitely the best match. This was just a laugh. Uh, then awesome true end up winning. Man, I love our true. He was acting like yeah. He was acting like it was a tag team match. He tried to get the tag to the Miz. Then he um. He was like saying to DIY, well, he thinks he thinks DIY are actually Degeneration X. That's the whole joke with it. I think, man, our truth, so funny. I love our truth. So it's such a laugh. Um, but uh, yeah, he ended up telling DIY to climb the ladder. He was doing the whole "You can't see me." The attitude adjustments. It was just great. The crowd was so into our truth. I loved when he finally got his moment. This was so deserved for our truth and the Miz. Deserved for the Miz as well. Archer and the Miz have been there like so long. They've gave so much to this company. I think it was so deserved, so well received from the crowd, so well received from at home. I loved this match. Fun match, great match. I'm not actually 100 sure what was next. Oh no, it was it was Rey Mysterio and Andrade versus uh, Dominic Mysterio and Santos Escobar. Members from the LWO got involved. Members from Legado del Fesma got involved. Andrade, Rey Mysterio looked great in this match. Dominic and Escobar lose again. Rey Mysterio ends up picking up the W with the help of Jason Kelsey and some other NFL player that played for the Philadelphia Eagles. I thought this was... I'm sorry. to I love... I actually am a big fan of American football and I don't know why I'm, I don't know, I kind of start getting into it because I think uh, 
WWE can be associated with American football as well, and then CM Punk is associated with you know. I actually do like NFL. I love I love the American football. I think it's great. I always watch the Super Bowls, and um, yeah, but I just thought this was absolutely terrible. Getting these two NFL players to get involved to help uh, to help Rey Mysterio and Andrade be. Dominic and Santos Escobar when you had Lega you had the LWO which could have helped Ray get the win if they needed to fight off Legado, Legado del Fantasma. It just made absolutely no sense to involve these. Just for a celebrity to come out to please the Americans at WrestleMania. I'm sorry to I, I you know I like I said, I love NFL. Don't get me wrong, I think it's great. I love WWE. You know, like I'm not complaining about this. But I just thought this was terrible. I gotta be honest. Looking back at this, this match I was looking forward to this match, and I honestly think this match was a letdown. I feel sorry for Rey Mysterio. I feel sorry for Andrade that they had to really get help from two NFL players to beat Dominic Mysterio and Santos Escobar. When Dominic Mysterio and Santos Escobar lose a lot of their matches, Becky Lynch is falling over. I don't care at this point. But uh, yeah, that's just my opinion. Another match that was disappointing. Main event: Jay Uso. He came out with a little Wayne Jimmy. Just bloody fell. Yeah, there we go. I fixed Jimmy. But uh, yeah, main event, Jay Uso going up against his brother, his twin. They, Jimmy Uso. This is a dream match for the Usos. Jimmy versus Jay. I'm trying to get like a better look at this. But uh, yeah, Jimmy versus Jay Uso. This was so disappointing, man. I love Jay Uso. I love Jimmy Uso. I love the Usos. My favorite tag team of all time. This match was just disappointing. About 500 super kicks. Jimmy tries to trick Jay at the end. So Jimmy's like... He's like on the ground, basically. Uh, and he's like tricking Jay. And uh, yeah, he's just kind of like trying to trick trick Jay Uso. Like he's saying like, I'm sorry, Uso. Come back with me. You know, let's, you know, let's be the Usos again. I knew that, th that he was tricking them. Then Jimmy Independent Super Kick hit the frog splash. Jay Uso kicks out. Straight after that, Jay Uso hits the frog hits a super kick, hits this uh, no, hits a super kick, hits a spear, hits a splash, wins the match. That's it. B disappointing. I love the Usos. And they and the, and their dream match is disappointing. This is a dream match for me. Dream match for the Usos. Disappointing. This was terrible. Little White came out with Jay Uso as well. He did absolutely nothing. He just said a few words. I think he sang the song before. I didn't actually get to see that. Overall, disappointing match. Then we had Gunther versus Sami Zayn. Chad Gable ended up saying to Sami Zayn, you can do this. You can do this by yourself. I love that. And then Kevin Owens, his best friend. I love Kevin and Sami, man. Like, god damn, man. This storytelling was so good with Sami Zayn last night. People didn't want Sami Zayn to win. And god damn it, I wanted Sami Zayn to beat Gunther last night. And uh, yeah, then Kevin said to him, you can do it, you know. They both supported Sami. They both said that you can do it. And Sami Zayn uh, overcame the odds. And Sami Zayn beat Gunther in an incredible, amazing match. No one here is going to shame his first of Gunther Clash of the Castle or Chad versus uh, Gunther. Still an amazing match, though. I thought this match was really, really fun, really cool. Very fast-paced. Oh, at the end, it was a little overbooked, in my opinion. It was a little, um, it was overbooked. They, they had, they had Sammy, like, Gunther hit, like, it kind of, I don't know if I'm right or if I'm wrong. I think it was, like, five power bombs, and then three clotheslines. He was just beating the hell out of them. His wife, Sammy Zayn's wife was in the crowd. Sammy kept on, Sammy Zayn was on the ground. Gunther and uh, Sami Zayn's wife kept on going back at it. Like, they were basically just giving out to each other. Stuff like that. Sami Zayn's kid, I know this is not... Looks nothing like him, but he was backstage. But he actually was never... Um, he was actually never in the crowd. I thought that was a little odd. But yeah, Sami Zayn ended up winning. Bit overbooked. But overall, I thought it was an amazing match. I'm so happy for Sami Zayn. So many people probably say this wasn't deserved. I don't care, man. This was deserved. Think about all the things that Sami Zayn has done. He had the best storyline last year with the bloodline. Sami Zayn absolutely deserved to win this match, in my opinion. Then we had... Oh, no. This was actually before the next match. Uh, you know what? We're, we're, we're briefly touch. We'll briefly touch on this match because I don't really want... I don't got that much to say about it. Damage Control versus Bianca, Jade, and Naomi. Um, Jade 
did not do enough in this match. She came in and got the win. That is all Jade Cargill done. Yet again, they should have done more with Jade Cargill. She should have done more wrestling in this match. She did absolutely nothing in this match. She came in, picked the scraps. Uh, Oscar misted, uh, uh, what's her name? Kyrie Sane. Then Bianca Belair hit a KOD on Dakota. Jade Cargill comes in, hits a move on Dakota Kai, and picks up the win. That's it. That's all it was. In my opinion, this was a bad match. Um, yeah, I don't I don't even know where the storyline's going. Just end damage control. No offense to them. I just think damage control are a bad group. Also, these are the tag team champions. Oscar and um, e and Dakota er, and and uh, Oscar and Kyrie Sane are the tag team champions. And then EO Sky is the women's champion. This group is just just always is booked so bad they can never win anything. I have no I have no clue why they're like this. But uh yeah, getting into the main event. The best match of the night by far. We may as well start over here with the final boss. The rock came out, had an incredible entrance. Unlike the the uh stage, there was like a bunch of electric electric flat electric stuff like the electrifying effects like some electric f effects that was really really cool i loved that i thought that was sick and then he came out in they almost looked like pajamas um and i was joking around to my brother saying that he's gonna wrestle in pajamas it was very very funny uh i thought it looked like pajamas it bloody did. He was mad. Mad was about to wrestle in pajamas and then he had them take it off his shorts that was hilarious and uh, very funny Rock entrance, but yeah, he brought out the Brahma Bull title, which I will show. I have it set up in the ring. Then Roman Reigns looked absolutely jacked. He looked like the Ultimate Edition, the older Ultimate Edition. This Ultimate Edition is actually pretty accurate to Roman Reigns. He got in better shape, and uh, yeah, good for Roman, good for The Rock. You know, they both looked good. Cody looked good. Zet looked good. They all kind of looked good. Is yeah, that kind of you know? They all looked. They're all on their best tonight, right? They gave an amazing match. The start of the match wasn't all that good. Uh, in my opinion, the start of the match was in the best, but the ending was pure cinema. One person that we did not see in this whole match was Solo Sokoa. I thought that was kind of odd, but I'd say they're keeping Solo and all that. But the winners of the match, of course, were The Rock. Here's the Brahma Bull title. I got this figure just in time for uh, The Rock, because he brought back the Brahma Bull title, and he wore this exact attire, it was red, but it had a bit of white in it, this is the Elite 100 Rock, just with an Ultimate Edition head scan on it, and uh, yeah, that's all this is, so yeah, you want to make it, you know what, I need to do a video on how to make a uh, final boss rock like this, you want to see a video on that, comment down below, I'll 100% tell you how you can make a final boss rock, that is using the Ultimate Edition, but I will get into that. Then we have Roman Reigns over here. He uh, had his title. I was so funny the way Rock had his title. And, like, The Rock had his title just to, like, try and look better than Roman Reigns, right? He was, but this title doesn't mean anything. So I thought that was pretty funny the way Rock thought that the bloody Bravo Bowl title meant something. But, yeah, it means absolutely nothing. He whipped the hell out of Cody Rhodes with... The weight belt, the Mama Rhodes weight belt. He was going back and forth with Mama Rhodes saying, you know, the good old lines like, Mama Rhodes, I'm going to whip, I'm whipping your boy's ass, Cody Rhodes over here. This is your blood, this is your son's blood, this is Cody's blood. All that, you know, they were going back and forth with it, I thought that was amazing. And then, yeah, they did the exact same shot of last year, like three freaking times, like, Five times, and I was thinking, like, if they don't, if not, if they're not making it any more obvious that Cody Rhodes is beating Roman Reigns on I two, then Jesus, God damn it, how much more can they do? They showed this this shot of Cody, uh, it like the exact same shot of last year, disappointed, angry, like uh, pissed off, the emotion, you know, thinking, how am I gonna win? How am I gonna win uh, against the Rock and? Or how am I going to beat Roman tomorrow night? They did this exact same shot last year. Oh, man. This is so obvious. I thought this was amazing, the shot. But, uh, yeah, overall, I got to wrap this video up. Overall, man, amazing. Also, I got I forgot to mention this. I looked over there. Zach Rollins got barricade through the... Uh, bar spear through the barricade by Roman again. They do the spot again, but I thought that was amazing. Zach was out for ages, man. And then Cody and Roman just took... Beated the hell out of 
Roman Rockin sorry, I'm hungry. I need to go eat. My brain isn't thinking a lot. I'm talking a lot. I'm rambling on. But Roman and Rock beat the hell out of Cody Rhodes until they got to pin him. Cody put up a really good fight. And then Zeth Rollins was so looked so pissed off. Zeth Zet Rollins is turning on Cody Rhodes tonight. WrestleMania sun, Sunday. It's gonna be epic tonight. It's gonna be better than uh, Saturday, my overall score is going to be an 8 out of a 10 just for the main event. Thank you a lot for watching. I hope everyone enjoys WrestleMania tonight. I hope everyone has an amazing WrestleMania. I hope everyone has an amazing WrestleMania weekend. Thank you so much. Make sure to follow me on Instagram. Follow me on TikTok. Thank you a lot for watching. The final boss in the Tribal Chief, stand tall here tonight, but Cody Rhodes will finish his story tomorrow, mate. Tomorrow, t- tomorrow. Tomorrow night. Jesus Christ. I'm to the hell of that. Tomorrow night. Marvel figures out. Bloodline stands tall. Cody Rhodes will stand tall tomorrow. Don't worry. All those Cody crybabies out there. Cody's going to win tomorrow. Marvel figures out.